So now you need to quickly find these points of intersection. And so basically you're going to think of these as equations, not inequalities, and we're going to find where they intersect. Okay, so this one actually is pretty easy because we know that this x value here, anything on this line is 280. And the y coordinate that goes with it, if we go over here, is 208. Okay. Now, these other points here, so for example, let's take this point right here. We're going to find that by combining the equation for this line, which is the 8x plus 5y equals 1600 with the other line that it intersects which is the y equals 208. So you're basically going to, going to use substitution here and you're going to get 8x plus 5 times 208 equals 1600. Okay. Now, take 5 times 208, you're going to subtract that from 1600, and that's going to give you 8x equals 560, and you're going to divide both sides by 8, and you get x equals 70. So that's going to give you this coordinate, this point here, which is 70 for x, and 208 for y, okay? Now this point down here is going to be similar except for you're going to have two different equations. You're going to have the 3x plus 10y equals 1120 and the other line it intersects is the x equals 280. So you're going to substitute 280 in here for x and solve it and solve that for y and that's going to end up giving you twenty eight okay so that is going to give you the coordinate two eighty and twenty eight now this one's going to take a little more time um, because it has to do with your two equations that have two variables in it. And so that's going to give you the 8x plus 5y equals 1600 and the 3x plus 10y equals 1120. Okay, so basically I would use, on this one I would use the addition method. So I'm going to multiply this equation by the top equation by a negative 2. So basically that's times it by a negative 2. And that's going to give me negative 16x plus a negative 10y equals a negative 3200. So you're basically adding these two equations left together. And that's going to give you a negative 13x equals a negative 2080. You get the idea here, right? So you're going to divide this both sides by 13. You're going to get x is 160. Now you're going to have to substitute that back into one of your original equations and solve it for y using that other method. So this gives you your final vertice, 160, and y is going to end up being 64. Okay? Now remember, that's you're not done. You find those four points because you want to now plug those four points into the cost function for x and y. So you replace each of these here, like 0.18 times 280 plus 0.19 times 208 and you see what that gives you. That's how much it would cost to, to produce 280 pounds of type 
A with 208 pounds of type B, okay? And then in this case, you're trying to minimize the cost. So you plug in each of these coordinates. You plug in the 70 for X and the 208 for Y and find out what that cost would be. Do the same thing for this, 160 and 64. Okay, and then do the same thing for 280 for X and 28 for Y. See which one gives you the smallest cost because the, the farmer is trying to minimize the cost of this production. So once you find the smallest one, that's your answer.